Okay, so our first reaction we will actually be talking about for esters is the esterification reaction. So uh, esterification means the synthesis of esters. So you can remember that just because it starts with ester. This reaction, we go from a carboxylic acid and an alcohol, and we yield an ester and water. So really what happens, you see I have a carboxylic acid here in red. And then you have your alcohol. I just put R groups here. So you have an OH group. Oh, there you go. You have your carboxylic acid and your alcohol. When you add an acid catalyst and heat, you can undergo an esterification reaction. In this reaction, we kind of do a flip-flop of where things are. So let's pick a new color. So the OH here of the carboxylic acid flip-flops places with the OR of the alcohol. So you see how I, I even drew them at the same angle and I'm just going to flip-flop those places. So Let's draw out what that looks like. We have R, O. I'm going to flip my colors so that we're very clear. Now we have an ester. Plus, we keep that hydrogen. And then we have our OH. So we have water. So you just take where those two oxygens are and flip flop their places. Uh, in order to get the esterification reaction. So let's do another example. So we have um, this carboxylic acid and this uh, alcohol. They're going to have an acid catalyst and heat. So I'm going to circle the two parts that I'm going to flip flop. And that gives me So when I flip those two places, just break those apart, swap them, put them back together. Uh, this is the ester product that I get here. Um, this is a really dumb analogy and I apologize in advance, but I like it. Um, it's kind of like, like a double date, but they like swap places. So like, one girl is like, ooh, I like that oxygen better and swap places with the other. Yeah, okay, whatever. Don't mind my analogy. Just ignore. Whoop. Okay, um, and then naming esters is the next little concept we'll be talking about. And we'll go ahead and talk about it and then practice it um, pretty quickly. So these names, uh, IUPAC and pretty much all of the common names, common names, you'll see where they come from. Um, all derive from the, the starting materials from the esterification reaction. So the first word of the ester is going to be derived from the alkyl part of the alcohol. So if I had methanol going into the reaction, I'll have uh, a methyl as my first uh, word for my name. If I had phen phenol, then it's phenol, isopropanol, then it's isopropyl. And then the second word is the name of the carboxylate um, so the carboxylic acid, turn that into the eight form, the carboxylate uh, form, and then that's that second word. So here I have my propanol and I have acetic acid. So my first word comes from the alcohol that I started with, which was prop propanol. So I'm going to drop the OL. Oh, really, I'm not going to just drop the OL. I'm going to drop, drop the ANOL and replace it with YL. So I'm gonna have propyl. And then the uh, carboxylic acid portion where that came from is acetic acid. So the uh, carboxylate version of that, we drop the IC acid and we just have acetate. Well, 
let's just draw. ATE is the new ending we have. So then we'll have acetate over here. So the name of this ester is propyl acetate. So propyl coming from the carbon branch on the alcohol, acetate coming from the name of the carboxylate. So that is technically the common name, right? Because acetate or acetic acid is the common name for a carboxylic acid with two carbons. So the other way you could say this is propyl and then ethanoate. Um, and then additionally, this molecule is the smell of pears. So propyl acetate is pears. Okay, let's do a couple practice ones real quick. Um, so what I like to do in order to do these is to name the starting materials for the esterification reaction, and then it makes it really easy to come up with the name of the ester. So my carboxylic acid here is benzoic acid. And then my alcohol here is methanol. So in my final product, I start with my uh, alcohol. So I'll have methyl, changing that A-N-O-L to Y-L. And then I have my uh, carboxylate name. So benzoic acid in its carboxylate form, once we ionize it, is benzoate. So I have that name. So the name of this ester is methyl benzoate. Okay, let's do another one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons here. So we're going to have uh, hexanoic acid. And then our alcohol is phenol. So our final name, we start with our alcohol, but in the YL version, so phenyl. And then our uh, carboxylate name, so hexanoic acid, we drop the ic acid and add in our ATE at the end, so hexanoate. So phenyl hexanoate is the name of this molecule. Okay, so in this video, we talked about a sterification reaction.